today I'm going to show you a rain of arrows using very powerful 3d particles of black magic design fusion okay so let's start with fusion you can see here my all arrows are in 3d normally what happen when you work with fusion particle you can't apply a 3d geometry or set of geometry as a particle instance but now they give a facility through that you can apply any geometry on your particle so let's start with basic particle so here I create one P emitter and one P render Basically, whenever you work with emitter, you must need a node named P render. Okay, so here I have one emitter. Okay, so I change region of emitter to rectangle and I rotate it to minus 90 degree and I scale it. Two and two. Okay, so here I got one emitter. Okay, now I change some controls like velocity. When I change my numbers to four, five, six, and I animate. For example, on thirteen number frame, I apply animation on my number. And then next frame apply it to zero. So I create this numbers of particles and after 31st number frame the particle generation is stopped. Now here I have 300 frames. So I increase my lifespan to 300. Now I change velocity to for example so that my particle moves like this I change some variations so it's look realistic and in angle I change to for example so like this for example 45 degree and I apply some angle variation so some arrow goes to for example 5 degree of angle variation the some arrow goes on 40 degree some 450 degree some 45 degree so in between 45 plus and minus 5 I also give some variation in Z so I apply for example 8 degree or 10 okay so my particle move like this now I apply one force on this particle system that is my directional force so after applying direction force my particle move little bit so I have to increase my strength for example 0 0.2 0 0.25 so it's move like this now I change my particle style to line I increase size for example 2 so now you see my particle face to my camera and this is arrow so it's always rotated according to your movement so for that I go to control in control you have to go rotation control first of all I deselect this always face camera 
and here in rotation mode you have to change is to rotation relative to motion so now my particle move according to motion okay now I have to create one geometry so that this arrow fix on that so for that I create one shape 3d I merge here so I can see particle as well as my shape in a one view and now I change this to rotate it to minus 90 degree I move it over here I increase the scale so change some velocity angle to zero so now you see your geometry cover your particle now I change some thing like I create one pass noise I change its size to maybe 1024 by 1024 as my shape is in square format and I just increase some change some value in shape 3d I apply displace 3d and fast noise as displacement map and now you see I have to increase segments for example 60 and you get this kind of geometry now the task is my particle should fixed on this geometry so for that I use one more force that is called P friction in P friction I have to go to region in region mode you have to change when entering in region and as a region I have to define mesh because this is my geometry and I define this as a geometry now you have directional force so you have to limit your directional force to fix this particle on this geometry so I change p directional region when inside region and here I define cube and I change its size to for example 4 more than 4 for example 20 maybe 30 height is 10 20 and I define so that the force is not work in this area I have to change the friction value to 0 0.99 999 as well as I use spin value if you spin your object you have to also define this friction but never take friction as one let's give you some odd result now you see when I play this thing my particle move properly and fixed into this I increase some directional force value point three so now my arrow work properly even I change my region 
little bit so it's look like this okay so now your particle fixed on this geometry now the main thing is here that you have to define your geometry on this particle so for that first of all I import a 3d arrow which I export in FBX format I only import mesh so here is my arrow I change it to, to viewport so that so that I can see it very easily now here I also import texture for this arrow and apply over here now in fusion 7 they give a very powerful tool that is called replicate and this is a key point of this tutorial now here replicate is what did replicates replicate input geometry at position of destination vertex it can be maybe mesh verticals or particle positions so here I have particle so I define my destination as my particle system and the input is my arrow and now you see here I got these things but right now direction is not properly so here I have to change something over here so main thing is alignment here you have three option I prefer this one TBN that is you move your reference input as a tangent binormal and normal alignment so, so you also need to change your rotation of your geometry so I change and now you see you got this kind of I also scale it down like this now you see your arrow go through this geometry so I have to change this pivot this depends upon you you can see like this or this or anything now you see when I play this thing you got proper 3d geometry on your particle system now I import one more fbx file this is boss baseball bat I also import its structure also change rotation of this bat 90 degree move like this and now see the power of replicate you can define one more or more than one input as replicate and here you define this random thing so now you see you got more than one geometry in one particle system and now you play this thing and you see So now you see fusion is very powerful with its particle system 
and go to you on your next level. Hope you like this tutorial. See you soon.